I've always liked late model Corvairs, but also heard some dude named Ralph said that they are not safe. In fact, he said, not safe at any speed. Huh. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that the reason it isn't safe is because it's severely underpowered. So to help make it safer, I rationalize that what it needs is a V8 with a turbo, just to make sure it's safe. So in this chapter of the build, we'll focus on the suspension, or more precisely, the rear springy bits. Cantilever coilover shocks are used because, well, there isn't enough room to fit the springy part in between the tire and chassis. This isn't my first go around with canty suspension, as I did a job a few years back on a 49 Willys wagon. It was decided the rockers for the canty suspension should be made from CNC billet aluminum. For no particular reason really, as they could have been made from steel with only a slight weight penalty. But it just seems like a proper rocker should be made from aluminum. Besides, a friend of mine has a CNC machine and more importantly knows how to use it. I don't have the chops to program or run the machine, nor do I speak SOLIDWORKS. My language is cardboard templates. The first process is to rough out the aluminum chunk to size on a mill. Then it's strapped down to the CNC table so it can eat. John, the guy who did the machining, said it took around 30 hours to make four rockers. Most of that time is in setup, design, and toolpath. So here we are with trying to figure out how to locate the rockers. And what's tricky about it is that it's on this different angle from the roll bar and the chassis. It's just a weird angle to come off of. So it could be plate to here to here and the same from here to here. But because it's all kind of twisty, I think it's not a real elegant solution. So I was thinking about doing a tube like this, putting a tube in here like this and running a spud tube with a washer and a hole right there like that to bolt so that the spud interrupts the tube going up. I think it's the most elegant because it's round so it doesn't accentuate the angles here. And then on the back side, it's probably just a straight part with a, with a spud on there like this too, to put the bolts. So that's, I think that's going to be the plan. Something like that. Or maybe like that. The shock has a couple angles to deal with. One of them is the side angle, which should be about the same as the four degree push rod angle. Both the shock and push rod should be at 90 degrees to the hinge point on the rocker at right height. This will eliminate any progressive or regressive shock action. It's pretty self-explanatory for a while, so I'm gonna shut my trap. Mm -hmm. 